So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My uh, name is Honorio Padron. I am uh, Vice President of Latin America for C3.ai. C3.ai is an enterprise AI company. It was founded in 2009, and we provide what we call enterprise AI, which is a complete platform with a series of 130 already developed software products <clears throat> that accelerate the implementation of AI into complex enterprises in simpler enterprises as well, if there are any of those. My personal story uh, about AI is that I've been a CIO, CTO for most of my life. And in my last uh, role as a CTO, I was in charge of a digital transformation for company and sugar company in Guatemala. And I was tasked with the implementation of AI as well. And I was really struggling with implementing it in a kind of an immature market with different components and trying to connect them all together. And I knew about C3 and the holistic solution of enterprise AI the C3 provides. So I invited C3 in to um, my company, Pantaleon Sugar Holding, and became a customer. Uh, implemented four successful projects. And I was about to retire for a third time when Tom Siebel, founder of C3 and CEO, who I have done work with about 25 years ago in, in a prior life, invited me to uh, join C3 and expand uh, to the rest of Latin America that same work that we have done at uh, Pantaleon. Well, you know, limitation is a big word, right? So. I see constant evolution of AI. Um, AI is not a thing by itself. AI has to be more and more integrated into everything that we do and already is in life. And of course, into enterprises. Every process in, in, in an enterprise uh, will evolve and will uh, not be replaced by AI. It will be complemented with AI. We always uh, like to say that um, companies that don't have AI implemented or are not evolving in a, in a very productive way will be replaced by companies that will implement the AI in a very successful way. It's, um, it's the way of, uh, of the future. Uh, it's the, the convergence of, of machines and humans never replacing one or the other. We see it as a very complementary type evolutionary relationship. Oh my God, which areas will be impacted? You name it, every area. For instance, you know, the, the C3 platform uh, with the application, we have 130 applications. So you can find us in maintenance, you can find us in optimizing the legal department, you can find us in optimizing supply chain, uh, banking, and everything from you know, fraud prevention to customer churn. So just about every area where you can have data. You gotta have data. You gotta have machine language and, and models that can learn from that data will be impacted from, uh, from an AI perspective. Never mind a whole conversation also on generic AI, Gen AI. Gen AI will, uh, it already is, a great um, addition to all of our habits in terms of looking for summarization, asking questions. Uh, I mean, all of the things that, that I don't have to outline to a, an audience that's already using it that Gen AI can do. But integrating Gen AI with applications, which is one thing that we're doing very successful, it's also sort of a next step. Not a lot of companies are doing that today but that's really going to be a, a leapfrogging into the utilization of AI in operational processes and enterprises. So, depends on who is in the race, right? I and mean, if you're talking about from uh, a market perspective of the technology being provided, is one conversation. Another one is the utilization of the technology, right? And they will converge. The, the key thing here is like all of the other evolutions of technology, 
is to recognize there are going to be a group of companies that are going to produce the technology that's going to be small and a bigger group of companies that are going to take that technology and leverage it for results in their respective enterprises. Today, we have too many companies in the business of producing the technology that should be in the business of utilizing the technology. So we have to gr grow through that maturity curve. That maturity curve happened when many, many years ago when relational databases came out, every company in the world, every CIO in the world thought that they could develop better databases than the professionals that do it. Then came an ERP. Okay, same thing again. Everybody thought that, oh, I can do my own ERP. Well, you don't do that anymore. Then came the internet, you know, everywhere. So today we're doing the same thing. We're, today we're in a kind of an immature market in AI where a lot of enterprises think that inside their enterprise, while they're not technology companies, they should be developing this technology. And as a result of that, only 6% of the use cases that are developed that way, compared to the use cases of somebody like C3, 6% versus 90% success rate. So we have to, the race has to be won by the maturity of the product, allowing the companies that develop technology, develop it, and the users that use it. The key questions it, it are all centered around value, right? So. This is not AI for AI's sake, but what am I going to get out of a successful implementation of AI? In other words, whether it's economic value, whether it's social value, but it always has to be with an end in mind, not just the implementation of technology for technology's sake, which has always been a challenge, right? That that's because AI is popular, let's just not do AI. Let's do AI where we need it, where the, the economic model, the commercial model, the process model, or the social model warrants the implementation of an AI initiative. Oh, the greatest fear? You know, I personally don't see the doom days that people talk about. You know, the, the robots are not going to replace us. They're not going to be killing us and replicating themselves. I think that's uh, pretty good science fiction material. I think that AI is just like when we had the uh, Industrial Revolution and the, the, the Internet Revolution, AI is just one step further into making our lives better by leveraging things that a human being cannot accomplish in, in a short period of time. So it's again very complementary and we're going to control AI, AI is not going to control us. I, I just don't see that at all.